We're going to install a new dimmer switch today to make our chandelier have variable light brightness. And fortunately, I have this portable spotlight, work light we'll call it, from DeWalt. It's just the greatest thing ever for doing projects around the house or on the car. We've turned the breaker off of the kitchen light, and we're going to put a dimmer switch here to replace this dimmer switch that's failed. And if you don't have a dimmer switch now, it's still the same process. So if you want to add a dimmer switch or replace this dimmer switch, this is how we're going to do it. First thing, we're going to turn off the breaker for this circuit. And we're going to come over here and we're going to verify that the switch, no matter how you move it, doesn't turn the light back on. So we know the switch is turned off and the power is off to it. And now we're going to remove... Well, we already removed the cover plate, which was a slotted screw, two little slotted screws. And now we're going to remove the two screws that hold the switch to the box. The replacement switch I got on Amazon, there will be a link for it in the description, is from Pass and Seymour. It's a lighted, toggled dimmer switch. And there's the specifications on it. Let's pull it out and open it up. I'll show you what it is. Basically, it's just a switch, and it has two screw connectors on it, and a ground connector. The ground connector is always painted green. Okay, that will be our ground wire, which will be a bare copper wire. And the other two wires will go to these two gold color screws here. And it doesn't matter which one goes either spot, because all you're doing is completing a circuit between one half of a wire and another half of a wire, so you're not going to make any difference which wire goes to which side. Here's the cover plate with the two screws, and there are the two longer Phillips screws that hold the switch to the box. You can see we have it hooked back up now. We've got one of the supply wires right here. The ground wire is hooked up there. And the other side of the supply circuit is oops, hooked up over here on the bottom. We've turned the breaker back on. You can see the glow light there. And you can see the ceiling fan. Dim. And bright. And dim. And come back over here when we turn it off. You can see how the switch lights up, so you can find it in the dark. I love these lighted dimmer switches. They work out great. Now all we have to do is press the whole switch carefully back into the box and put the four screws back in. Project completed. There's our glowing light switch. Here's our chandelier. You can see the switch does not light up until you click it all the way off. I like having that little click on there to feel that you positively have it turned off and the light glows to indicate that you have turned it off so that's pretty good right look at that all right thanks for watching let me see if you want to buy a dimmer switch your local hardware store would be the best place to get one but if you're an amazon person and just don't want to go to the local hardware store and support your local businesses then there'll be a link in the description for the dimmer switch thanks for watching and have a great day